God bless you today, Susan Waldrop, March 18, 2016. The Holy Spirit has put a very simple word on my heart to give to you today. It's a word that I feel like uh, many are going through and that it's comforting to know. The word is simply that there are many that have been going through extreme crisis of many kind, personal crisis, community crisis you are noticing, church crisis in your body of believers where you are meeting, church crisis, and also you are being spoken poorly about when it is not your fault, many of you, as well as you are having outright verbal attacks of the enemy and also attacks coming up against you legally. And there are the battles that are extreme battles that those are facing right now. But I want you to know the good word that the Lord told me to give you this day and that it resounds for the rest of this season because as the new season comes and births, so also a new season of his word is going to birth. And this season is going to be a completion, a completion. And you are going to see answered prayer come. Even many of you in one day, you are going to see great answers that you have prayed for for years come to pass. And this is going to be encouraging, though it is still partial. This is, a, this is an answer, but the work is still in progress, meaning it has further to go, further to go. So because you see a victory, you should know also that the battle is never ending until the Lord comes for you. You will continue to be in one battle after the next. You will have victories. You will have a few defeats, but greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And in the end, you shall stand the victor. So worry not about the few negatives here that happen, the few defeats there that happen, but see it from his eyes, a greater picture, a greater perception of the entire circle the entire 360 degrees the way he does. And then you will see, as you walk in faith, perfect faith, for it casts out all fear. There is no fear. There is no condemnation. There is no questioning because you are solid, you are firm, you have made the decision that this is the way it shall be, the way that the Holy Spirit says it shall be, it shall be. So Father, we lift up our oil today and we thank you for this day. We thank you for the privilege, Lord. Now we ask you to anoint us and appoint us this day and send us, Father, even so with your blessing, as you continue to bless us. Answer the prayers in a day, in the name of Jesus. And we all said, Amen. Okay, the Holy Spirit, like I said, was giving me this very strong word that many of you are going to begin to see great answers at your door in a day. The big word was in a day. And right if you are experiencing the great attacks of the enemy now, know that you're crossing over as you're standing firm with the Lord when you've done all to do, then stand. But so you are still crossing over because you are stepping onto that ground that you're saying, God has given this ground to me. And God is giving it to you. And God is blessing you abundantly. This is why the devils are so afraid of you, because they are 
they know what is inside of you and they know how it penetrates to everyone around you. So continue on in the name of Jesus because great is your reward and great are the salvations that you shall see as well in the name of Jesus. Okay, I want to read a little bit. Revelation 22, the very last chapter in the Bible, the Holy Spirit put on my heart to read to you. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, there's that word, proceeding out of the throne of God, proceeding out of the throne of God, a river of crystal, and of the Lamb coming from Jesus. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree for, were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Thank you, Jesus. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. You know, it's interesting. We see the uh, microchip coming along and everyone is saying, well, the mark of the beast is coming and don't take that microchip. Don't put that chip in your, under your skin. And what do we see here? We see that, and they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. His name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they no need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Praise you, Jesus. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not. For I am thy fellow servant, and, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keepeth the sayings of this book, worship God. The angel told him, Worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he which is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he which is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For, with, for without are dogs and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and make a lie. I, Jesus, have set mine angel to testify unto you that these things 
in the churches of these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star and the spirit and the bride say, the spirit and the bride say, come and let him that heareth say, come and let him that is uh, a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Thank you, Jesus. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which trans, uh, he which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that you allowed John to see these things. Thank you, Father God, for the blessed experiences you have given your servants. We thank you, Father God, that even so we today stand in the impossibilities, in persecutions, in false witness against us, Father. But you stand, and you stand, and you stand with us, around us. Your angels are protecting us all the way around us. We glory in you, Father God. We give you the thanks. We give you the praise. And we pause this day and tell you how much we love you. And we are looking for you. And we are waiting you to part the clouds in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Such a, a, a wonderful presence of the Lord is wanting, is probably already doing a lot of healing to people in the name of Jesus. I, I just want to read a few notes that have come in different places from Facebook, from, from Prem. Sister, please pray for our Pentecostal ministry in India. Lord God, you know where this is. We lift it up. Father, we pray for the Pentecostal ministry in India. Bless it abundantly, Lord. Thy presence, let it fill the room. Thy angels' voices, let it be heard all the way around and meet all the needs we trust you do in Jesus' name. From YouTube, uh, Celis Kiss. Hi, Susan. I want to thank you for praying for for me concerning the surgery on my neck and spine. Without a doubt, I knew that the Lord was near throughout the whole procedure. It is day two, and I feel a huge difference within and without myself since having the surgery on the 15th. Again, I want to thank you for your prayers, and I will, all, I will continue to send you updates on my recovery. Love you. And as always, I will continue to watch. May Jesus continue to bless you and your ministry. Father God, we thank you for this one that you brought her through with a wonderful, a wonderful testimony, Lord, that she comes back well and living for you, Father, to breathe another day, to proclaim your goodness. Now complete the healing work in her, Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you for uh, Selena in Jesus' name. From YouTube, Carolyn writes, Thank you for sharing this, Susan. I am seeking with all my heart, my mind, and soul 
for God gifts, also for strength to do it, with God's faith and love to touch other people in their hearts. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for Carolyn. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you come down with your fingers. I see the fingers of the Holy Spirit coming down, coming down, descending in your place there in your room, right where you are. And God is just wrapping his self all around you. The Holy Spirit is just in enveloping you thank you jesus there's some fantastic healing he's doing right now we thank you jesus thank you jesus and, and several people are crying right now that's the presence of the holy spirit we thank you lord we give you all the glory all the praise in the name of jesus from twitter benjamin Praise God. My name is Benjamin, watching and following you from Nairobi, Kenya. Thanks for the excellent job. Father, over Benjamin in Kenya, we thank you, Father, that you are with him. With him, using him as an evangelist right where he is in the name of Jesus. You are using him to witness to those that you put him in front of. We thank you, Lord, for the gifting that you move through him in as well, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the healing gifts that flow out of him as well. And great, great uh, pulsating is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Janet, I'm only up to the 21 minute mark of a video but I can't wait to comment. Your topics on this video are really ringing true with me tonight. I totally agree about when one of the top group of ministers says God is going to start a great move at this special meeting. It just doesn't happen that way. When he wants to do something, he'll just do it. One example. In the 1980s, I attended a church of about 50 people. Our gospel group had been at a detention center ministering to the youth in the afternoon. When we returned for church that evening, heaven came down. The presence of the Lord was so strong. Reverence was so strong. I was afraid to open my eyes. I was afraid to breathe, yet it was glorious. When I dared crack an eye to open to look out upon the congregation, there was a cloud covering them. Couldn't see them. <laughs> I know that. I saw that in the little brown church. I was sitting in the last pew and looked straight ahead, and it looked like floating heads. All I could see was the heads. I couldn't see the bodies. I know. I know what you're talking about. Um... I couldn't see them. It was like looking out of an airplane when a cloud is below you. I know, I know. My best friend, we singing, carried away in the spirit. The first time I had ever seen that, it's like the words were floating across and through the cloud and above, like a ribbon. Like a ribbon, this is what I saw in this dream the Lord gave me a few months ago when the angels were coming to take us for the catching away. And the, it is beautiful, all these ribbons, many of them were just dropping out of the heavens. I've never seen anything like it. And they were spinning, spinning, and we were all grabbing the ribbons. Everyone was grabbing a ribbon, grabbing a ribbon, and up we went, up we went. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. At a different service, the Lord was blessing mightily. A whirlwind picked up the pastor of that same church from the floor in front of the platform, spun him around, lifted him up, and set him down at the back of the platform by the wall, still spinning. He was very yielded in worship like I had never seen before. One more thing. I have only told a few about these experiences. It seems that no matter how mature of a Christian, 
I think I'm talking to, I can tell that they really doubt what I'm saying, so mostly I'm quiet about it. You mentioned similar things, so I will share with you. The Lord saved me at age 19. I worked in a very loud manufacturer's shop. Most days were spent singing to him at the top of my lungs. One day Jesus' presence appeared before and above me. Up, 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 appeared before and above me. I stood there in awe. I heard the Holy Spirit ascend. I heard the Holy Spirit ascend and enter me. I heard his words coming through me. I saw through a veil into the spiritual world, the spirit world. This was in 1974. The only way to describe what I saw is more is it is more alive than this world. The Holy Spirit told me, Jesus is coming soon. Tell people, tell people, tell the people. I have spent my life doing that. Praying hasn't been that powerful since, but it's certainly more powerful than just forming words. Just forming words. If we are just forming words, let's close the book. But if every word that comes out of our mouth is a blessing and not a cursing, we are edifying, we are encouraging, but it is also God first person speaking through us to whosoever. This is all we live for the power of God, the presence of God, the movement. Where is the Holy Spirit moving? Where is he moving? Is he here? Is he there? Run with the cloud. When you see God go with the cloud, you, you, I mean, when you see the cloud go here or go there, you go with the cloud. You go with the cloud. You go with the cloud. And I want to say, I want to say, I want to say it again, because somebody needs to hear this today. You have been attacked verbally. You have been attacked emotionally. You have been attacked and you knew it was the enemy because it was done by people that say they love you. It was done by inner circle people. But I want you to know that the very next day you will see God move and break through and you shall see it all lift and crumble at your feet. You shall not see these attacks, but you shall see God breaking all of it and it crumbling and God's blessings overtaking you. God's answered prayer in front of you. Your children will come back. All of these things will take place all because of your earnest prayers, your earnest love, your holy walk with God. That's all it's about, your holy walk with God for you've turned your way you've turned yourself away from the things of the world and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be no matter what you've done you will get your reward. You will get your paycheck for whatsoever life you led on this earth. We thank you now, Father, as I feel your mighty presence, healing, 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 moving, 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 greatly, greatly, greatly across whosoever is watching 
whosoever is listening. It is all of you, Lord, all of you that is moving, moving, moving. Several are falling down right now. Several are just, you cannot stand. You have to sit. You cannot stand any longer because the presence of God is so strong in your room. Thank you, Jesus. As you do these things, you heal, you heal, you heal, and you bless, and you release. All of the tension, all of the depression goes right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is doing a mighty work. A mighty work. A mighty, mighty work. I love you. Thank you for watching. Continue to send your prayer requests, your praise reports. Thank you, Father, for all of the financial offerings. We pray that they come back 1,000-fold in more ways than they could ever imagine. In Jesus' name. And bless those that need seed, Father. Give them jobs. Give them whatsoever so that they will be financially blessed because they are, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, as we just simply believe. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a blessed, blessed day.